Hello, everybody. Hello, my name is Paul. Welcome, one and all. Pardon my bassy voice. I'm still a little sick from what is not the flu, but something equally as horrible, but it's not slowing me down. You'll just have to put up with a slightly more nasally and bassy me, more so than usual. So we're back with what ostensibly is the final chapter of King's Quest, uh, the new series. And I'm both excited and dreading it because last chapter hinted at Graham's imminent death, which I'm not excited about. Well, I am in the way that I know it's going to make me cry like a baby, uh, which is kind of making me happy that I'm, uh, I'm really lacking a lot of essential fluids right now because my body is busy making mucus, so the tears will not flow. But um, I'm also kind of lamenting its end, though I do hear there might be a bonus chapter in the works. And just kind of looking back, of where we've been over the last, gosh, year or so, I think it's been. Like, little baby Graham, and then he just becomes king, and there he is with gray hair. Now, they probably made the posters a little bit before they made the chapters of the game, but he didn't look that old in the last chapter. But no matter, let's move on to the good night. Oh, Graham, one last time, let's do it. Recovering Lord Sullen's xylophone certainly sounds like a charming ruckus. Don't get me wrong, but I'm looking for a quest to be remembered by. Is he talking to Gart? Tell me he's talking to Gart. For future generations to share. That'd be so heartwarming. Surely, my dear friend, you can relate to that. Oh. Oh. He's hello, talking to no friend. one. Come on well, in. Well, the mirror, probably. Um. Where did your friend go? She thinks I'm crazy. Why, he's right behind you. Keep you warm by the fire. Oh, maybe he is crazy. There's no one there. Not to worry. He'll be back. Always bouncing in and out, that one. Like a slingshot. Oh, come on. After all the magical stuff you've seen me do, you don't believe I have an invisible friend who bounces back and forth. Dragons, treasure, love stories. My, ba my balloons are made out of leather. Talk about this. I see. Come here. Oh. I am so sorry. I should have told you when I had the chance. I'm just not ready for you to go. Listen to me. I am not leaving you. Not yet. The mirror promised me one final adventure. But the doctors, they said... Has the magic mirror led us astray before? I'll be here for one more adventure, no matter what any doctor says. So... Where's this adventure taking place? I haven't decided yet, but it's going to be grand. One for the tapestries of time. I was thinking, Serenia, or a family trip back to Tanalore. Grandpa, you can't even get out of bed. Watch me. Oh, I can get out of bed all right, just saving up my strength. I need to know why. Why? I thought it would be nice to have an adventure outside these walls with a whole family. No, not that. I need to know why the doctors can't fix you. There has to be a magical fruit that can cure you, or a spell to extend your life. Been there, done that, only does once. I just once. can't believe that you're only suffering from old age. Take a seat. There are... A few more stories I have yet to share. Hmm. Another flashback? I thought this was present day. Interesting. Oh, I'm getting vertigo. For as long as I can remember, adventure always had a way of finding me. But as I grew older, I had to find adventure for myself. Sweetheart, are you sure you need to go out questing for trouble at our ripe old age? Darling, this old hat may be tattered, but 
But it's not ready to be hung up yet. I know. I know. As long as you're living, you'll be working to make Daventry perfect. But what's the point of working so hard if we never can enjoy it? We still haven't watched a single sunset from the Rose Garden. But there's still so much to do, love. I need to stay sharp. I just don't want my legacy to fizzle out like King Edward's. Do what you like. I know I won't be able to convince you otherwise. Damn straight. Out of the way. I probably should have stayed back and watched that sunset. But I had adventure on my mind. Perhaps there was another lost treasure to recover. Or a unicorn to be rescued. Oh... If I was lucky, a hideous beast would be terrorizing the kingdom. If you're lucky, yes. So, interestingly, I thought that this chapter would be taking place like in present day. He would get out of bed and it's like, all right, one more time. Let's do it. Old Bones Creek. But uh, no, this apparently is also a flashback to before I was completely bedridden. Oh, look at him go. Oh, I love his run. Squeak, 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 squeak. You deserve a chance to celebrate your accomplishments. Um, and I, no good luck kiss or anything. What else are you looking for, Graham? Kisses, give me. Good luck kisses, give me. You've given enough, love. Please don't leave. Alright, so before we head out on our grand adventure, as always, just make sure there's nothing else hidden around here that we can interact with. Otherwise, I will just dodder my way out into the great unknown. Well, not the great unknown. I know exactly where we are. We're home. Um, isn't this where the Achaka statue? Oh, there's the Achaka statue. Is this anybody we know? Why are you here? Who are you? I know you. Oh, <sighs> It seems like only yesterday you taught my Harold to fly. Oh, what Chaka. I'm glad you live on somehow. The town was always a good place to start an adventure. Perhaps I should start there. Oh, gosh. What a grand view. Look at that. The castle of Daventry in the background, framed perfectly by fall and autumn trees and wildflowers and uh, a barrel... I wonder who's in there. Is today Thursday? No, no, there's probably no one in there. So I see. Oh, here's just a regular old bridge. Is there anybody? Wait, aren't you forgetting? Yeah. What? what was that? Oh, never mind. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I think I know where you're coming from with this one because where's Ofi and like who who is this bridge? Wait a minute. Can I get down there? Oh dear. I have a feeling that in Graham's old age, he might be misremembering a few crucial items, like the bridges. Don't forget them. They helped you get to where you are. Amaya and I cleared out all the spiniferous thorn weeds in the backwoods and planted a lovely rose garden instead. Wait, what happened to the snarling snarlaxes? With purple eyes. Blue glowing pupils, six legs, three claws, and one tooth. <laughs> they had to be crumbled. Ruin the castle's curb appeal, I'm afraid. What, you never noticed this, girly? Haven't you ever been outside these castle walls at all before? Now, this rose garden is reminding me very heavily of the rose garden in King's Quest VI. Uh, is that what it was? Is that what the rose garden? I think so. Is that the... Nope, that's not the well. That's a gazebo. Can I take a rose? That'd be a really nice little touch. No. I do want to visit the gazebo, though. Oh, look at these little bunnies making out. No, 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 stop that. Rabbit population's high enough in Daventry. Out, 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 out. Knock it off. All right, I don't think the game is expecting me to wander around back here, instead deciding to focus on this gigantic stone medicine ball in the front. All right, have it your way. I'll adventure. Ah, okay, so here's a bridge that needs to be summoned by a bell? A bell? Where's the horns? Clang! That copper bell brought me right back to my younger days as a squire. Hold on, Grandpa. Yes, sweetheart? It wasn't a bell. Oh? And um, what was it? Oh! A memory test? Oh, yay! So we get to mentally go back to the entire series and correct things. So that means we have to go back to that bridge and remind him that, yes, that was Olfi you were stepping on with your pointy shoes. A horn. 
remember? Oh, that's right. I get my momentary lapse of memory. What if I can make that whatever I want? Is that good old Ophi? Oh! The patch of fire impeded my path forward. A mere brain teaser to get my logic wheels spinning. Isn't that uncomfortable? Uh, hey, Ophi, pal, you're kind of on fire a little bit. Why? <laughs> Why is the witch on fire? Okay, Graham, I think you're embellishing this story just a touch. Can I take the mouthpiece with me? Is that still a thing? No. All right. The bridge is here. The bridge is here to stay. Great. Where does he keep disappearing to? Oh, there they are. I hear the rest of the bridge people. He probably knows we don't have the croissant. He needs to work on his time management skills. Sounds like Ophie's in trouble. Oh, yeah. Come on. Get up. I'm getting tired of opening that door for him. After Alexander returned, we... Sealed up the goblin hole. Oh, the goblins aren't gonna like that. It better come soon. See, it seems like he did such a good job at running the the kingdom that oh, uh, that all of the uh, all of the things that could go wrong have already been prevented. As long as he knows the password, you have to let him in. Oh crap! The password. What was the password? Uh. He is a weak link. I don't remember. I hope it comes back to me. I wish Ophie would stay put. This meeting is already way over. Years ago, if my memory serves me correctly, we redesigned that old meeting space into a... Uh... Commemorative Fountain Bridge Troll Memorial. Am I... Was that a flashback? I guess. Sounds like it. Now, I don't think we actually turned it into anything legitimately, but now we can by rewriting history. And I think, while a fountain would be nice, remembering all the things the bridge trolls gave us in their old meeting space seems the most apropos item. A memorial honoring Pilar and Mr. Watts. But, uh, first of all, A, Pilar didn't really do much of anything. Mr. Waddles, yeah, gro groovy on you, but Ophi did all the work. Where's Ophi's statue? Are they dead? Are they memorials? Well, that's, that's kind of sad. Pilar transferred to Ludor in the summer of 1679, and she was annoyed to find out there was, in fact, no bridge troll guild in existence there. Hungry and poor, she discovered a new cause to rally behind. She founded the first charity whose mission was to feed the trolls. Well, good on you, Pilar. Dedicating your life to other trolls less fortunate than you. Good, good on you, Pilar. How about you, Mr. Waddles? Are you president yet? Waddles retired when I took the throne. He stayed local, though, and created most of the art and tapestries that you see on the castle walls. He finally became the drawbridge that he always dreamed of. That's dark. So does that mean that old, that Waddle's corpse is the drawbridge in front of the castle? So he's literally, he's dead or can't lift himself up anymore. So we just attached him to a series of pulleys and now, oh, oh, he's like a little dead corpse marionette. Just like me. I can just sort of imagine like the little strings above me. Doop -de -doop -de -doop -de -doop. Am I remembering this right? We redesigned the space into a all right, so I wander back in here, and then Graham's like, oh, we probably didn't make it a troll memorial. Now, I've been all over creation here, and I can't find any water to put out the flames, so chances are we made it into a commemorative fountain, because that gives me what I need to get the story forward. So, misremembering FT Dubs. A commemorative fountain honoring every guard who ever served the kingdom of Daventry. That is a pose and a half. Look at that. The fountain was meant for every guard who served Daventry. But I couldn't help shedding a tear for Larry every time I pass oh, by. Larry, you were always our favorite. Well, half of our favorite. For years, Kyle still walked around like he was holding someone on his back. Let's move on. If I stay here too long, I'll tear up. Oh, 
That's really sad. Okay, well, it's still not giving me any of the water I need, though it is an interactable object. So that means I need on the quest for the bucket. Also, that's a really bad place for a commemorative statue because who's going to pass by it with any kind of regularity? We redesigned the space into... It's like he's getting impatient with me. It's like these are the two that make the most sense, but sure, a sandbox. Why not? Let's turn this into a sandbox game. A sandbox that all the children of Daventry could enjoy. All zero of them. Hey. How come I never got to play in that sandbox? Your father was always paranoid about badgers doing their business in there and would never let me take you. Aha. Uh -huh. ah, a randomly placed item to add to my inventory. My adventure was already off to a great start. Yes, there we go. Okay, so I need to make the sandbox to get the bucket. But uh, before we do anything, oh, oh. All right, and then we go back and misremember our way into a fountain. Oh, life-giving oh. water. Nectar of the gods. I'm making that my ringtone. All right, now, life-giving water, nectar of the gods is now going to be... Oh, if, if only they actually named it nectar of the gods there, that would have made it so complete. But, ah, gentlemen, good on you. I feel like you guys did that just for me. The fire was extinguished. My journey continued. Ah, that's better. Thanks, King Honeybee. Honeybee. You're very welcome, friend. Now remember, oh, can we don't get to talk to Ulfie? Ulfie, how did you get your back on fire in the first place? Wait, what's going on? Where's Ulfie? What do you mean, sweetheart? He's right there. <laughs> Ulfie, a, a magical bridge. talking bridge. Um, what? Oh, hold on a second. You may be right. Ulfie was... Uh, a bridge with a troll on his back, right? Oh, sorry, I mean a troll with a bridge on his back. Correct. How did your back catch on fire? Yeah. Oh, I'm not sure. Ulfie was taking a nap and then became very itchy. Probably just another heat rash. A cool bath with two cups of oatmeal should clear that up. It's worked wonders for me. Yeah? Your skin does look fantastic for 86. Well, that's a shame. I'm 77. Oh, my apologies, King. At 386, Ophie's memory isn't what it used to be. I know. You told me that yesterday. Oh, I did, didn't I? <laughs> Can you believe how old we've grown? It seems like only yesterday we were dancing the dance of the official bridge troll guild. <laughs> and all the paths through Daventry were wide open. I just hope I chose the right direction. Because my journey has become a bit of a straight line. Straight line. Oh, I hope that's not why you squeezed into your adventuring gear. It's been Ulfie's pleasure to watch your little bridge take root and blossom into King Graham the Wise. And I wouldn't have it any other way. Well, if you enjoyed my earlier accomplishments, wait until you see the greatness my next adventure will bring. And Ulfie goes back to sleep. I can wait to get into town. The square was probably full of people in need of an adventurer. Someone to fetch treasures or forage rare ingredients. On that day, I would have taken any quests offered. One slight problem. I couldn't remember which way the town was. It's probably through that gigantic wall of fire. Mm. Which way was the town again? My muscle memory was having a hard time remembering. Um, great. Okay, so my mental barriers are literal walls of fire. Graham is stuck behind the- whoops. Uh, Graham, your- your controls. 
Your controls are inversed. Oh my god. Is this is this what it's like to be old? Yeah, my controls are definitely inversed. This is weird. Ugh. This is where I think Miracle Max's cart was. Oh, please, no! Not my statue! Is this how I would be remembered? I had to enter those flames before my legacy was burned to the ground. Why did you leave all this stuff out in the first place, you fool? Well, now you're protected from anything, so you should be fine. I still think this is all in Graham's head. There's no emergencies here. I can't get it. Can I not get it? I guess I have to put this down first. But Even in my old age, I was still pretty smoking. All right, this is going to take a while. Was all that really worth it? Oh. Sorry, I... I... Have my stories been good enough? What do you mean? Your stories have been amazing. I'm just not sure. There's so much more I could have told you. There are so many other details that I forgot to mention. Grandpa, your stories are perfect. Just the way they are. I just needed more time. I have a feeling that he's making up some stories now, so he feels, uh... A little more important. I'd like to remember the stories how they were first told to me. They'll be better with all this stuff I forgot. Trust me. <sighs> Please don't ruin my memories. Oh boy. All right. Now she's counting on me. So now we're back in the second chapter. It looks like we had to fill in the blanks here. I remember some of this. There's the music box. And three, four. What are those? Fairies. I couldn't figure out where they fit in the story. Thank God for that. Perhaps They're horrifying. the story was better without them. Okay, there's a troll riding a thing. Is this just how the developers show off their unused assets? Did I tell you the goblins rode around on rats in the caves? No, but how does that make any sense? The numbers above their head make it seem like it's some sort of weird museum, like I should have a guidebook or something. Uh, where is this? A blacksmith I've never met? See that? This is Tree Dorman, I'm Amaya's partner. Grandpa, Amaya doesn't need a partner. She's a strong woman by herself. Besides, he kind of seems underdeveloped. You may be right. We are getting really meta here. All right, and that's all there is to see. So all I need to do is remember or find a song to play on this, and that will unlock this door. Um, I remember it being like a lullaby. Orange, green, pepper. There's none of these colors, though. An acorn song. How could I have forgotten acorn song? He sang it to Alexander when he first met him. Did he? I think a song would have made that chapter a little too long. We're getting really meta. Super meta. Sometimes you get into a bind. Oh, tangled up in a knot. I'm supposed to enjoy this. Don't wake the bull, I set him free. When you can be crafty. <laughs> hey, little buddy. So the world's gone and hemmed you in. <laughs> sure, little buddy. You might be thinking of getting revenge. Uh -huh. All the ground with nostrils streaming Grab a loom and need all this time for weaving When life treats you badly That's when you get crafty No one ever fell apart Making macaroni on Watch your anger slip away Why you're afraid of macrame Buddy, I learned to crochet. Time to stitch your anger away. Life can get nasty, but you can stay classy. 
If you get hearts and crappy. <laughs> That's not the boot trap I was expecting. I need a nap. Oh, good job, Acorn. That was just, that was a standard waiting to happen. Oh, there was another puzzle in the ice labyrinth. I feared it was too hard to understand, but perhaps I was No, wrong. don't make me go back to the ice labyrinth, please. No. <laughs> I had to find a way to get everyone on the switches. I don't want to. Are we done? That was really easy to discuss. Oh, and there was this whole other hidden Wetzel wolf. Now, I don't know if he's actually being forgetful or if he's really just trying to make up for him thinking his uh, stories were really boring. What about my sorcery Grandpa. battle with the winning Grandpa. ones? Stop. Your stories were perfect. Didn't you tell me that no story is ever done? It just stops being rewritten? Uh, uh, I will go back and fix them. Graham, Graham, your, your memories are literally falling apart in front of us. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is something to ponder. So it looks like Graham is going back in time and telling these stories and trying to fix them because he wants to be remembered as this great hero and he's afraid his stories were too boring because they're all about family and friendship and love and wisdom. And he's like, no, no, there was also fire. There's lots of fire everywhere and I battled the flames to save things. Bruh. But this is not the Graham we know, and Gwendolyn knows this. Gwendolyn's like, stop. I see what you're trying to do, but stop. And it's just making her more and more upset. Ugh. So it sounds like the last person Graham needs to teach a lesson to is himself. And with that little nugget of infotainment wisdom, I will say a good night, Jelly Beans. Good night. <laughs>